Hi, it's Destiny from Fate of Destiny. I want to do a review on a really cool knife. It's the Sog Seal. Not to be mistaken for the Seal Pup. This is the Seal's little brother. Let's check it out. So this uh, sheath is a nylon sheath. It comes with a pocket here, and then on the back it's got just a belt loop. It's pretty standard. All right, let's take this bad boy out. When I first saw this thing, I was so excited. I mean, it looks seriously badass. I, I had to have it, even though I'm not, obviously I'm not a Navy SEAL. But I mean, just look at that. It's sick, right? This texture on here gives great feedback. Really helps you keep it steady when you're trying to keep a good hold of it. This grip works great in wet operations, which makes sense. I mean, it's a Navy SEAL knife, so that's gonna be important. I'm not trying to pretend like I can really improve on this knife. I went through tons of testing to become certified to be a Navy SEAL knife. But I guess if it had like deeper finger grooves, that, I think that would have been a little better. As you can tell, this is a Bowie style blade. What I think is distinctive is this, uh, these double apex right here. I don't know if that helps the function of it at all, but I think it looks cool. All right, let's get technical. This blade, it's got a hardness of, uh, a Rockwell hardness of 57 to 58. It's all eight steel. I'm not a metallurgist, but from what I read, that's pretty sturdy. Okay, more techie stuff. SOG's website says this is cryogenically treated, so they bring it down to 300, negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, they bring the steel back to room temperature. That's supposed to make it stronger at a molecular level. The Flash 2 and this SOG seal both have combo edges. Are the serrations useful? I don't know. Let's check it out. First, I'm going to establish a little bit of a groove here, just so the knife has somewhere to pull through. Once I feel like I've got a nice little channel going, I'm going to saw through it here. Shit. There it is. Alright, so maybe that wasn't enough. So I'm going to try a thicker nail now. Damn, did it make quick work of those nails or what? Here's my overall impression of this knife. No surprise, this is a combat knife. Yeah, this could have other uses, like as in a survival situation. I mean, it's a tough knife, so it'll probably perform for you. Personally, I am into collecting military knives. That's why when I saw this, I had to have it. As with any of my reviews, I'm not personally recommending this knife per se. It's just something, it's I like it, it works for me, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. How about we cut some more bacon? And some more bacon. <laughs>